The Barnstormers debuted their production of Noises Off this weekend with three successful performances. Hours prior to their Saturday performance, members of the theatre organization provided us with some interesting perspectives about what goes into such a production. So Noises Off is a show about a theatre company which is rehearsing a different show. So you end up with a show within a show. Um, the theatre company is putting on a production of this show, Nothing On, um, which is a big British comedy. And in the process of that, we get to see backstage and see them rehearsing. And the, the process of them rehearsing Nothing On is the show Noises Off. Keep in mind that Noises Off is a play about a play called Nothing On. This type of production poses a particular challenge to the nine-member cast. They're playing essentially three characters. They're playing their own character, who is the, the actor playing Nothing On. They're playing the character in Nothing On, and then them, themselves in Noises Off. It's just, it's crazy. We met with members of the cast as well, though with the next performance just hours away, the actors were already in character. How have you been preparing for Noises Off? Noises Off? Uh, you mean Nothing On? There's a set, nice, and it's nice. it's very big. A lot of sardines. <laughs> lots of, lot of sardines. sardines. So you many. Know about the sardines. I do know about the sardines. There have been lots of sardines, mm -hmm. and I've been taking them in and out, and it's just it's very, it's confusing. But I think we're doing very well. Yes, aren't we? absolutely. Yes, yes so absolutely. We're doing very well. <laughs> How has yeah. the production been going overall? Um, Good. It's it's it's, it's coming along. It's coming. We'll get there. We're, we're gonna get there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 It's just that, uh, although I, I think that the cast is uh, incredibly talented, um, they have a propensity for uh, making sure that they uh, get on my nerves for some reason. No bars, no burglar alarm. They must be prosecuted for incitement. <sighs> That gets a little bit of um, getting used to, I suppose. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are going on tomorrow, so um, uh, I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. And that's my... And also, um, I think the Valium helps. The production features an incredible rotating set constructed by students over a number of weekly marathon building sessions. The set has the really um, fun feature of having to break into pieces and rotate so you can see backstage. Um, so you get to see them rehearsing on stage and get to see sort of everything falling apart backstage. So it has to come apart um, and turn all the way around so you see the actual backstage um, and then turn back. This set is actually so wide it can't rotate as one piece because it would go out into the audience. So we need to have it break. It breaks into eight pieces. Um, which are all on wheels and everything fully rotates around. There's a scene in the show in which there is a pratfall down the stairs. Um, so the character comes running across the upper balcony, trips over something, and comes tumbling all the way down the flight of stairs. And the way that we're able to do that safely is by adding additional padding under the carpet, so you can see it's really springy. He still gets pretty bruised and beaten up, but it's much, much safer than having to do it down a wooden flight of stairs. So the carpeting was added as an aesthetic piece in order to cover the sort of safety elements of adding padding and making sure the stairs are wide enough for him to fully come all the way down and not collide with anything on his way. He still manages to break some railings, but you know, it is what it is. So one of the cool features on the set is the window, which the burglar uses to break into the show, and a few other characters sort of enter and exit through as they're sort of running away from people. Um, but the really cool thing about it is that not only is it styled so like an English window, but when the burglar wants to come in, he, from the outside, is able to punch a bunch of panes in oh. in order to break in. Um, and so there's different panes that can come out for different parts of the show. Um, and it's just pieces of plexi glass, which are cut um, so that it allows things to pop out. And you can see ceiling tape on here, which shows up really obviously when you're close, but from the audience, you can't see it. What goes into a production of this size? A, a, a lot of planning, and also, particularly for this production, a lot of hard work and time and sacrifice. Uh, these, the students that are in this particular production are not professional actors. They're, they're people who are, are students. They don't have really the time to do this show, and yet this show is a really huge uh, show. It needs a lot of time to rehearse, and we, weren't, we didn't have that much time, and so they had to put in a ton of time at home, you know, doing a lot of work outside of rehearsal, which is great. And, and when, when people see the show, that's, their, that's the, been their main compliment about it so far, has been it doesn't look like, it looks like 
we had a ton of time to do it because it's so sharp. And I think that's, that's really huge. Performances will continue through next weekend. This is Tessa Wiseman for JHU This Week.